Bruno has done really well to win it back and it's three, it's game over. Can they get another goal? This could be box office. Oh yes. Oh my God. Coventry have won it. Oh my God. United are still in it. One of the greatest games in football ever. We're here at Wembley Stadium for the FA Cup semi-final two between Coventry and Manchester United. United are back at Wembley, but they've been one of the most inconsistent teams in the league this season. But a win today will get them a back-to-back -back Manchester derby final. They'll want to win this one because we won the last one. <laughs> It was Wembley disappointment for Coventry last time in the hands to Luton Town in the playoff final on penalties. Tonight they're looking to put all that behind them in one of their biggest games in club history. Can they cause the shock of the FA Cup? Or who will take the W here on the hallowed turf of Wembley? Will it be Cobb or will it be United? Will it be the biggest upset in FA Cup history? Or will it be back-to-back -back Manchester Derby finals? Make sure to smash the like, hit that big red subscribe button and let's enjoy this FA Cup semi. Come on Coventry, I'm supporting you today a very good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the start of the video to semi-final two now we are here we're at premier in solid premier in we've had a great brekkie and we are ready for coventry versus man united now yesterday city got through if you haven't watched the vlog check it out here and uh, we will be playing the winner of this semi-final in the fa cup final now today it's a very special day because we are invited as club uh, to club wembley as guests, we're very, very excited to go. Me and Dad are attending. Uh, obviously, we'll be supporting the Coventry, but we just want a great game of football today. It's Coventry's World, World, World Cup final. And Man United are looking to make it back-to-back -back FA Cup final Manchester derbies. And they'll want revenge from last year. I don't think my heart can take another Manchester derby FA Cup final. It was horrible last year. Uh, so we're going to have to get dressed up. So it's probably time to swap this Istanbul City jersey to something a little bit more formal. Yes, we're going to Wembley in a shirt. There's a very strict dress code. So, yeah, I feel a bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm very much looking forward to it. Yeah, JSM in a shirt. He's gone a bit posh for the vlogs. You guys are getting a little bit of a treat. Obviously, Coventry versus Man United it is going to be one hell of a game. Really looking forward to it. Time to get to Wembley and get in to some match previews. Come on, Coventry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it in Wembley. Look at it. It's empty. It's beautiful. The best stadium in the world, in my opinion. Semi-final day. Manchester United versus Coventry. It is going to be one hell of a game. I'm expecting Coventry in that end of the stadium. This is, this is just everything that they want, isn't it? Everything that they want. They want a semi-final against one of the biggest teams, arguably one of the biggest clubs in the world. And they they would have dreams come true if they were to get a W today and I'm supporting them here from Club Wembley there's probably going to be a lot more Manchester United fans but on the walk here there were way more Coventry fans ticketless Coventry fans everybody asking for spares crazy the turnout from Coventry today it's going to be fun I'm looking forward to it let's go and get a drink Okay, the teams have dropped and obviously Manchester United are, of course, full strength and Coventry are pretty much full strength as well. I think the danger men have to be Eccles, Sim and Ben Sheaf in the middle. They're the three. Sims has been fantastic uh, this season for Coventry up front. Ben Sheaf's been a mastermind in that midfield and I think that Eccles can really create chances uh, going up against Aaron Mambasaka, who's playing a little bit out of position at left back for Manchester United. I think the big thing is, is Harry Maguire and Casemiro in at the centre-halves. Not a lot of pace in there, so if Sims can get at them with pace, that could cause Manchester United a big problem um, but Coventry have to go in all guns blazing in this game they have to try and get that first goal and that first goal is real real key and then if they do lose that first goal they've got to hang in the game for as long as possible try and nick one from the set piece uh, but United obviously Onana Dallo who's been playing brilliantly you've got Casemiro and Harry Maguire as a centre back uh, the midfield obviously speaks for itself you've got Scott McTominay Kobe Mainu that's allowed to play together for one of the first times ever Bruno will pick up the ball wherever he wants to be able to distribute out to Rashford Garnacho and Hoyland up top so it's, it's, it's the United team expected so, uh, obviously, with Casemiro in at centre back, so it's going to be a good game. We just need to see how Coventry can do. The teams are out, and we are ready. We're actually kicking off. Here we go. Coventry versus United. We're up. Here we go then. Coventry versus United. Kind of surrounded by United fans, but let's enjoy it. I do have to say, it's a lovely day for it. It was freezing yesterday, and the atmosphere is fantastic. Loads of Coventry fans are here. Man United fans. Well, obviously, we're going to hear a lot of the Man United chance because we're on that side of the stadium in Club Wembley. Um, awkward, but it's going to be great. Sky blue end of Coventry here, ready, oh, lying in wait, but here come Man United and this play back to Bruno Fernandes. 
Garnacho cutting in. Shoots. Flashing. What might take over anyway? Corner for United here. Bruno Fernandes is going to take it. United have got the better on offense in the opening exchanges. Definitely when Bruno gets the ball on the edge of the box, he should be worried. It's flipped on. It's towards the edge of the box, and Coventry have got it away. And I think. I don't know how Coventry should play. Them. Should they attack? Should they defend? Should they try and stay in the game? I don't know. Garnacho is just a setter. Brilliant header back from Diego Dalla. Garnacho is all he's got to do. He's just put it in the back of the net and he slips over at the vital moment. Big chance. Corner for Coventry. Maybe a set piece is the way to go, but that is headed away from the stand in centre back today, Casemiro. That's a poor ball. Casemiro standing in at centre back today. Uh, Man United really slacking on centre halves. It's just, it's just one of those things, isn't it? When you get injuries, you get injuries. Martinez, uh, the young lad who's been coming in, he's out. David Donald maybe should have stood in there, but they've got Casemiro and he is very, very experienced in his defending. He may not be quick, so that's a chance for Sims to be able to get out Maguire and Casemiro. Um, and they'll answer that, here comes Cobb again. And they're getting a lot of space in the midfield, mainly with Ben Sheaf on that ball. I think he's going to be the king. This is how most of the first half are going to go. You've got Rashford and Garnacho, the two outlets on the right-hand side and left-hand side, respectively. Coventry just sitting all their men, waiting for a mistake to target Maguire and Casemiro with the pace. There's the mistake. They're trying to get it long. Not really interested in keeping the ball for too much. Coventry on the left-hand side, cross taking the deflection. Just need to get the ball. To Sheep and Sims. Right has not had a good start to this game. Garnacho's flawed. They keep losing the ball on this left hand side. It's not working out for him. The goal that United have probably deserved is put in from Scott McTominay. And the Man United fans down here are very, very happy. 1 0 to United and call Coventry cold. What United can do, the counter attack brilliantly, brilliant work of Garnacho right across the face of the box. Poked in by the Scottish poacher himself, Scott McTominay. That's the goal that Coventry didn't want to concede. They wanted to keep this game 0 0 as long as possible. For, ah, it's, it's a big goal in this game, it's a big goal in this game. And Coventry have looked very, very weak going forward, but strong defensively. Man United cut them apart, good goal from United. Right place, right time, 10 hearts men take the lead. Super Scott. The Scott himself. 30 minutes of the game gone already, and it's, it's literally been one way traffic. It's all in front of the Coventry Bell, it's all for Man United. David Dallow looks soft, dangerous on the right hand side. Garnacho looks up for it. Rashford is looking confident, taking on his man. Man United just had that loose spring in their step when going forward. Uh, but Coventry, whenever they get the ball, they're defending well, but they haven't got anybody up there. No outlets, the fits are just sim on his own. She's taken a while to get up there. Right, looking not inexistent on that left-hand side. It just looks like Coventry are here to defend and will take a 1-0 loss at the moment. They've got to start attacking. Coventry just had their best chance of the game. And it was created from the right-hand side with Eccles. They keep going left to no avail. This time they've got right. Eccles fires it across Sim, sliding in. Really good defender from Harry Maguire. Just to hold him off a tiny little bit, which allowed the ball just to go straight through uh, through the middle and to no to nobody. So, yeah, big chance for Coventry, I think. They've got to do more down the right-hand side with Eccles. He does look bright. What a save for the Coventry goalkeeper to deny Rashford. Wow. Yeah, solid save. Coventry look like a flipping Premier League team with the way that they are playing, just lacking that final ball. But they are playing the top six side, so you can't really expect much more of what they've done so far other than maybe have that final product uh, from Eccles to get it in to uh, Sims. But that's a great save. Brilliant work again. Bruno and Dallo are taking control of this game superbly, especially Bruno picking the ball up in those pockets of space. And that's a brilliant strike from Rashford. Connects with it really well. Great save from the Coventry goalkeeper. And the corner's it. Corner's it. It's Harry Maguire. They've made it 2-0. Right on 45 minutes. That's a killer for Coventry. It's 2-0 United. And surely it's the Manchester Derby FA Cup final. Man United fans are happy. Crowd goes mild. No, to be fair. It's a good header. It's a great header. Coventry were disappointed at the time of the goal and the manner of the goal. And I think that's killed it. I think that's game over. And yeah, great header. What a header from Maguire. Just, that's what he does. It's a brilliant header. Solid, marked up, great control, great power, great accuracy. 2-0. It was literally the last kick of the first half. 
one important goal. Big goal that, right on half side, that's killed, that's killed Coventry off that. Huge moment in this game, but it's 1-0 to 2-0 to United at half time. Half time here at Wembley, and well, that's a killer of a second goal from Harry Maguire. Like, you're in the game at 1 0, you go in at the second half, you regroup, you keep defensively uh, disciplined, and then maybe you get one on the break, and that's exactly what they did against Luton uh, in the playoff final. But today, they've let a goal from a set piece slip right on half time. Literally, the minute that the centre kick was taken um, after the goal, full time, uh, well, half time, and that, that is not what you want. The last kick in the first half from a set piece. Really disappointed, but from a Man United point of view, they are going to be absolutely fan oh, over the moon with that. I think I think the game's gone the way that I expected it to go deep down. I, I optimised, I wanted Coventry to do well, but the, the way that the game's gone, it's just been all Manchester United, especially down on the right-hand side with Bruno, who's picking the ball up in pockets of space, looking so dangerous, and Diego Dallo, um, who won the corner, got the assist for the first goal for Super Scott. Uh, but Tomine, who put the ball in the back of the net, it's, been, it's just been a disaster first half for Coventry and perfect for Man United. And it looks like they're going to be coming back from Manchester Derby FA Cup final, albeit one of the greatest FA Cup comebacks in history. I don't see it happening, to be honest, because every time Coventry get the ball, they try and go left. It's not been the right way to go. Eccles had the best chance. He crossed the face of goal and Sim was sliding in, but more good defending from man of the match so far, Harry Maguire. Been a hard to forget for Coventry, but Man United will be over the moon. 1-0. It should be at the break, but it's 2-0. I keep thinking, because of how big that half-time goal was, it's 2-0 at the break. It's the first 10 minutes. Man United got three on two. What a rubbish ball. Bruno Fernandes had a chance to send Garnacho completely clear. And he messed it up. Coventry, we've been watching the first 10 minutes while having a nice beer and wine on the concourse, but in the nice part. And uh, Coventry have been going for it. But it's good to say they might as well. They've got 45 minutes to go for it. Games opening up because Coventry are attacking, that's leaving holes in behind. I'll tell you what, Man United are vulnerable, and that's a great touch from Sheaf. Casemiro takes it away. Old Bradford, one on one. Take him on, you got to. Oh, Bruno's done really well to win it back, and it's three. It's game over. That's game. Slice the block. Bruno makes it three. He deserves a goal, and he's got one. But it wasn't game over before. Bruno, who's been the best player on the pitch, gets the goal. Oh, the best man on the pitch so far. That's who you wanted coordinating that attack. Yes, he got a bit lucky with the finish. But finished it, he did. And that's Manchester United in the cup final. Another Manchester Derby cup final. We're ready for United, but yeah, they've made light work of this. Nice goal. Um, Rashford probably should do a little bit better. Bruno took over. Got a bit of luck with the deflection. The better, the better team are winning, aren't they? So, Coventry have been really going for it this half, but that allows so much space for United to come forward, and that's what United want. The problem is with the way that Coventry have played, they played right into United's hands, and it's made it easy for the Red Devils. Coventry still pushing forward, which is allowing this room. Toss a great, uh, not a great ball, but should have been a better ball for Garnacho. United look good, and on some days they do, and on some days they don't. So it's just which United are going to show up, and the United that wanted it have showed up. Oh, they've scored! That's one back. And they deserve that, they deserve that. Still got 20 minutes. You never know. You never know. Flair's on the pitch. They've been waiting for this. Oh, Flair's on the pitch. They've, they've been waiting for this, and that's a great goal. Blue and white on the pitch. Wow, great goal from Sims. Good goal. That's what Sims can do. Great finish. Good work on the right hand side. There's still 20 minutes here. They get another goal. This could be box office. Even less than Coventry deserve in the second half. Yes, the third goal was a great counter time. Very, very lucky about the finish. Probably just about deserved on the way that the first half has went. But the second half, the Coventry have been excellent. They come out. They've been playing, they've had chances, and that's a good goal. And if they score another, this is going to be prime FA Cup football, and it's going to be all hands on deck and going to make a great finale. Commentary fans, I want to hear you. Get yourselves up. I know you're going to watch this after, but this is going to be interesting. What happens when you push, though? Good goalkeeping. Problem is, when Coventry push, there's so much space in behind them. Bruno is taking advantage. Tamira looks exposed to the midfield, but at the back, he's really reassuring. He's really calm on the ball, can play a ball out really well, and he's very, very experienced when it comes to defending. And you can get away with having no pace back there. I think that's a better position for him. 
got a little group down here trying to cause the atmosphere in the United atmosphere. And it's mimicked by 3-1 and you still don't sing. I love that. That's brilliant. <laughs> Four back for United. Sims cuts in. Does a good ball as well. There's the shot deflected. Is in. The deflection's taken it in. Oh my God, it's 3-2. Three, three. need one more. Limbs in your way. They need one more. I said if they... Instead of they scored by 80, they've got a chance. They've scored in 78. The deflection was absolutely lucky as. But it's in, it's Callum O'Hara. Wow. Big goal, big goal. They thought Bruno's goal was lucky. That one tenfolds it. That is a massive, massive moment in this game. The look, the, the deflection was so big. It looked like it was heading over. But it just, it was like somebody shot a sniper bullet at the ball that just deflated and then dipped into the back of the net. Oh, no, it was completely rooted. Oh, we've got a cup tie last 10. Well, if you think United didn't sing at 3-1, they're not going to be singing now at 3-2. We've got 10 minutes, we've got a cup tie. Oh, this would be bedlam if they score again. Man United are rocked. It was the first goal that rocked them. Talk about the second one. <laughs> a little bit of slice of what the Coventry probably needed. Can they get another one? I mean... Nine minutes plus at a time. Man United trying to take the sting out of this game. Hoyland did so well a minute ago. Listen to the commentary fans. They are absolutely sinking this place loud and proud. But going for commentary, they've got to be doing better. Right? They give the ball away. Hoyland just really well to win a foul. Yellow card as well. Free kick now for United. I mean, they just need to take the sting out of the game. Whether that's with a goal, whether that's with time wasting, they've got to find something. Go forward. That's a lift time challenge. Here they come. That's a foul, but another good ball. Reflection, corner, listen to it. And throw in. Can it catch Manchester United out? Oh my. Oh my, great save for Anana. Proper coming at you. They're coming at you quickly. From a long throw in. Premier League doesn't know to, how to deal with that, I don't think, because we don't have that in the Premier League. That's a championship like standard uh, way, to, uh, way to do it. Anana, powerful shot, but straight at him, should be should be being dealt with than it was. United on the break. Oh, what a ball that is. Oh, he's got to do better. He's got to do better. Has to do better. Here we go. Oh, Nana's coming. He's going to get it. Oh, he's taken a risk. Done really well. This has been a fantastic second half. Coventry scored two late goals to secure their place here against Wolves. 90th and even further 90th minute. Man United have had habit of conceding late goals this season. Will that change today? Can United hold on to make a Manchester United FA Cup finals? Or will Coventry get the goal? Here they come. It's blocked. Goes to the edge of the box. Over the bar it goes. This might be the chance. Rashford is down. Not the Coventry care. Straight ball back. That's a nice touch. We've got to get the ball in the box. It's a great ball in. Oh, what, a, what a claim of the handball. He's given a penalty. He's given a, he's given a penalty. He's given a penalty. Oh my goodness gracious me. What am I watching? My what am I watching? We can see it because it was at the other end. Do you, do you think it was a pen? My reaction was, my reaction was it wasn't. And the Man United players are surrounding the referee. Obviously, the people down there have got a much better view than I have. But usually your gut instinct is, is right. Like yesterday, I thought that was a penalty. I don't know. I don't know. This, this is madness either way. Bar's checking. Man United have been so bad in the second half. And this epitomises the inconsistency that I've been saying about Manchester United. They got so good in the first half. Not like they were going to score two, three, four. They got three nil up. And Coventry had the chance to pull it all the way back with one kick of the ball. A Coventry in penalties here at Wembley. Last time against Luton. Chance to put all that behind them with one kick of the ball. Three nil down. Can they do it? The chance to make history. Three nil down Coventry were. Can they do the impossible? Come on, man. Put it away. Oh, yes. Absolute bedlam. Absolute limbs. They've done it. Incredible. That's right, no doubt. What a pen. What a comeback. FA Cup football. Don't you just love it? Extra time incoming, maybe. They can't do it all, can they? 
Surely not. Sims. What a block. Best sport in the world. Best sport in the goddamn world. You're getting sacked in the morning. It's the champ ringing round. And a couple of Man United fans are joining in. Rashford's just gone off as well when he was booed. That sums it up. United win it here. Oh, great save and then clear away. Great extra time. Booze from the United end. Show us from the commentary end. Oh, what a sport. What a sport. Football, eh? Don't you just love it? 3 0 down Coventry, down and out, and have managed to pull it round in absolutely superb style. What a second half that was. A disgrace from Manchester United is an understatement. That is pathetic. Booze at the pit, uh, booze at the full time uh, for their team, for their manager. Chance of sacking in the morning. Like, it, it proves the inconsistency of how bad Manchester United have been. In the first half, they look great. In the second half, they look poor. Extra time it is. More fun and games, please, because as a neutral, this is box office. Extra time has been cagey, really cagey. The teams have swapped ends, by the way. I didn't know we took an extra coin toss at the start of extra time. I thought they just carried on. First half, you go that way. Second half, you go the way they kicked in the second half. Coventry slightly better on the offense, but Man United look better in the midfield. Uh, I think Bruno Fernandes has really taken this game in the grips, and it's up to him whether uh, Man United conduct anything because no one else gives a damn. Good mistake at the back. Hoyland has got to give it probably sooner. Oh my god! Oh my days, Coventry got away with murder. Own no giveaway can cost you in this game, and that's what it's in. It's a poor back header picked up from Hoyland. I think he put Diallo in a little bit too late, but nice ball back though to Bruno Fernandes. That should be a goal. Should be a goal, but you can't really ask much more of Bruno. He's done his bit. Half of extra time, and here's the space. Oh, what a touch as well. Bruno's making a great run. It's ignored. Salah wants the glory and he runs into traffic. Ericsson hits, blocked, covered. Give it, what does the Portuguese, I don't particularly like Bruno, I think he's got a bit of an attitude problem, but what more does he need to do to, to help? He can't do much more than what he's doing. Ignored. First period of extra time is over, second half has just begun. I think Bruno had the best chance hitting the cross between the post and the bar. Really good chance, pulled back Tim on the edge of the box. The other should have slipped him through uh, on another good chance. Coventry, well, they kind of slipped back into the Coventry of the first half. Maybe they've used all their momentum. Big 15 minutes, if the scores are level, we get pens. Entertainment. A lot of the better team in extra time and Poirin shot. Oh my god, the rain. He's in his own half. He's in his own half. Casemiro's back there, and he does really well. Poirin's got to do better for me. Too many men going forward for Man United, but that's Casemiro at his best. He has to be able uh, to do better than the attacker for Coventry, to be honest. But Casemiro's good defending, uh, just about uses his pace to be able to get back there. And when he's back there, he's so experienced. He knows what he's doing. Great positioning. Ball from Sheaf, really good play. Sims, no one there. It's a nice little croquette to get away. That's going to be a foul and a yellow card for me. Yeah. Bruno's down one end, he got cropped. I think it was a foul. I think Coventry got really lucky here. They're in. What can he do? He's missed. Oh, what a chance. What a chance for Riot. Right. Oh, you won't get a better chance. You're not going to get a better chance. One on one with the goalkeeper on his stronger side. He's got to score. Maybe they do get a better chance than they do. And it's Sims and it's brilliant on the right hand side. He gets onto his right foot. Pure strength to hold off the defender. And what an amazing effort. It comes off the post, then off the bar. Or the bar, then the post. Oh, you can't get much closer. You can't get much closer to the W cover trick. How many chances in this second half period of extra time? It's end to end. Chance after chance. It should be goal after goal. They're giving the ball away in a terrible yeah. area. Oh! Not like from this angle that it might have gone in. From Hoyland, Coventry managed to get the ball back. Got a chance here. Got a chance. Got a big chance. This is the last attack. I think right's off. They'll carry on anyway. Coventry have won it. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. No flag. They've won it. Oh my goodness me. Look, miles off. Side. They don't care. They've won it. Oh my goodness me, what have I just seen? And United players collapse to the floor. It's a last second goal from Vince at all. He finished it superbly. They never gave up. 
Oh my goodness me, it is being checked. It, it is being checked. It's being checked. We are checking it now. A lot of fans around me have gone once the ball went in. I have a lot of United fans around me at the moment. It's going to be a long check. I think it was off. Got instinct. This is a massive call. It's penalties or Cobb win. So, which way is it going to go? But the length of the check, I know the importance of the goal. This must be so close. I think, I think right was off, personally. Yeah, yeah, offside. United are still in it. United are still in it. And I think that's the correct call. This is football. Oh my goodness me. They're coming back. They're all coming back. Money. Surely not. I've seen enough drama today. We're going to have enough time to take it due to the stoppage. Oh, you, you, you've got to be joking me. Coventry will get it up, away. We will go to pens. The drama doesn't stop. But oh my God. This is one of the greatest games of football I have ever watched. Drama. And this second half. Oh, this extra time. But Bruno hit the bar. Sims hit the bar. And then Coventry have won it at the end. And it's offside and now it's penalties. Oh my God, just catch a break. This is incredible. It, it looks off. From, from, an, from our angle, it looked like, like it was off. It looked like it was off. And yeah, Coventry, oh, in despair. Man United get away with one and they're still in it. Penalties are in front of us, in front of the United fans. Not me, I'm not United fan, but in front of my section of club Wembley. Oh, United have got the advantage now. Wow, how the tables have turned. Here we go then, penalties. Got some aerial to take first. This has just been madness. Oh my! What was that? That was awful. That was just shaking his head. Coventry will want to put the Luton Town one behind them. They can do it and tenfold if they win this one. They will have the advantage if they put this in the back of the net in front of the United fans, and they do. They take the lead. Coventry score all four more. The pressure now is on the Man United players because they know they're going to have to score the rest. Diogo Dallo has been one of the best United players on the pitch, him and Bruno. He needs to score. Has to score. And does. United are on the board. Next penalty for Coventry. Here we go. Oh, wow. Right next to me thought he missed, but it was so far in the top ends. That's an awesome pen. Two awesome pens from Coventry. Wow. Ericsson, now's his bottle. He used to play for Tottenham. Oh! It's not a Tottenham bottle because he's moved on and he puts pens away like that. Oh, Nana's trying to distract. The United fans are trying to distract. And it worked. It worked. He was shouting stuff at him. United are level. I'll take another turn. What a save. The best player in a Man United top tonight. He scores easy. Yeah, yeah, you knew it. He's been the best player for a reason. Nana's mind games. Telling the penalty taker to come forward, shouting at him. Get back in the goal. Get back in the goal. You're not Emmy Martinez. Pressure's now on Coventry. They've got a score. It's match point Man United. Big pressure. How's your bottle? Over. It's penalty heartbreak, it looks like, for Coventry. It's match point to the Reds. The fans leaving after that goal's gone in. They've got match point. Oh, Onana. Absolute shithouse. Got him to thank his mind games. He came up to both of the penalty takers that missed. Started barking at them, screaming at them. Got himself yellow card and turned around and celebrated. There'll be more celebrations if Hoyland took this away. The final kick to conclude one of the greatest games in football ever. Yeah. That's it, United are through. They've done it. Carnage in the east end of Wembley. United are through. Heartbreak for Coventry. United against City for the FA Cup crown. What a game of football. What a game. The very happy Red Heart. I feel so awkward. I'm very, very, very unhappy. Small penalty heartbreak for Coventry. It's utter drama. I'm going to try my best to describe the game in a full-time review because that was absolutely incredible. United raced into a lead, 
a great goal from McTominay from good work on the right. Then they made it 2-0 right on half-time, Harry Maguire's header. Then 3-0 with a bit of a lucky deflected goal. And the Coventry ship look beaten, but they're not lying down. In comes goals from Sim to get them back into it. A very, very lucky deflected goal. And then a penalty at the end to make it 3-3. And it looked like they won it at the end. In extra time, it was Cardiff. Bruno hit the post. Sims hit the post. Oh, it was madness. And then it looked like they'd won it. To be an inch offside, Man United survive. Penalties. Coventry. Draw first blood with Casemiro's awful penalty. He's got away with it because his goalkeeper's got him out of jail with some ultimate shithousery that Martinez would be proud of. And United get the job done. Breathe! What a game! Picture me this, guys, alright? Winners. Losers, winners, losers, full, empty, what? Here's how good the Coventry fans are, class, absolutely class, but United get the job done, that's what they do, that's why they're Man United unfortunately, hey, Coventry fans, trust me, as a City fan, I have felt pain from these lot over the course of my lifetime, especially in the early stages, uh, and this anthem, oh, for you guys, but well, congrats to United. If you guys have enjoyed the adventure, make sure to smash that like. Smash that like for football because football's won today. Whether commentary or won or not, that was just box office. Hit that big red subscribe button and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. I need to breathe and get a drink. Wow.